2021 college football season has been a very weird one. And um, I want to talk about can Ohio State win the national championship this season? So, uh, it, like I said, it's been a really weird year across the board. You have Clemson looking like absolute garbage. Uh, Alabama has been beaten. Cincinnati's undefeated, ranked number two in the AP right now. It's just a very weird year. And Michigan being good at all definitely tells you it's a weird year. Uh, but regardless, I want to talk about this because I think Ohio State might have peaked at the right time, and I think they can get it this year. Um, I think there's some similarities in this team from the 2014 season where we won the national championship uh, to this 2021 team. So if you'll remember back in 2014, Ohio State lost uh, to Virginia Tech uh, in a close game. It was 35-21. It's a game Ohio State was expected to win, uh, and they didn't. And then from the rest of the season on, you know the story. They ended up winning the national championship despite quarterbacks going down uh, and whatnot. So when you look at this year, Ohio State loses early to Oregon um, in a very frustrating game if you're an Ohio State fan. Uh, that score was 35-28. So now Oregon... Uh, has kind of been spotty going forward. Not been terrible, but they've been winning a lot of close games. Uh, but if you look at the schedule so far, you know, I was kind of hoping Minnesota was a lot tougher than uh, I thought. But they've had their sh fair share of injuries and stuff. Um, so they've not turned out to be a great team. So when you look at uh, that loss to Oregon from there on, Ohio State beats Tulsa 41-20. to I was at that game. That score does not reflect that game. We looked horrible. It was embarrassing. Uh, I was watching the Alabama-Florida game most of that on my phone while I was there because I wanted to watch a real football team. Um, but after that game... Things picked up. You saw the change of play calling at defensive coordinator. Uh, Kerry Combs no longer calling plays. Ohio State beats Akron 59-7. Ohio State beats Rutgers 52-13. Beats Maryland 66-17. And then yesterday, Ohio State beats Indiana 54-7. And uh, next game against Penn State. It's going to be a night game. Scarlet out in the shoe. Uh, currently number five ranked Ohio State versus number 20 ranked Penn State. That's the AP. So uh, I think when you look at the schedule going forward, Ohio State's got some tests. I think we'll beat Penn State pretty handedly. Um, not that it won't be a tough game, but given what Ohio State's done so far this year, you look at the improvements. Since the play calling change, the defense has been way better way better you cannot overstate the change defensively um you know and you look at the key positions right your offensive line early on kind of struggled a bit a lot of talented guys but they never really gelled now they have and they are just mauling everybody um and given that, your most key position, your quarterback, C.J. Stroud sucked early on this year. Uh, was absolutely terrible, missing guys left and right, very high. And uh, since the bye week and since he sat uh, against Akron, he has looked unbelievable. He has gone from being a terrible quarterback to playing at a Heisman Trophy level uh, since then. And... You know, the one thing we talked about in the offseason was it doesn't really matter who plays quarterback for Ohio State because of the guys around him. And since Stroud is now at the top of his game, the guys around him are getting used to their full potential. Olave, Wilson, uh, Emeka Buka has been making plays. Just guys across the board really tapping into their full potential. And uh, at the running back position, Travion Henderson has stepped up into that running back one role and is nothing but a touchdown machine. I mean, he is going to set records at Ohio State that I think a lot of people never thought would be broken. But he is unbelievable. And I think he could really be the secret weapon to take this team into that next level, possibly national championship run 
uh, for this Ohio State team because, you know, at the beginning part of the year, it was Master T, Mayan Williams, and Travion was getting in there a little bit. Now it is... I mean, Maya Williams got in a little bit in this past game, did some pretty good things, but it's the Travion Henderson show, and he might be the best running back in national foot or in college football right now. And um, with Stroud playing at the top of his game, the offensive line gelling, and the defense finally getting it together, I think this Ohio State team can really make a run here. And because of how wide open college football is this year, I think Ohio State. Uh, can win the national championship. Clemson sucks. Alabama's beatable. They've already been beaten by A&M. Um, you have teams like Cincinnati who they've been playing great. They're a great story. I think they are a really good team, like Desmond Ritter a lot. But you got to always factor in the schedule uh, and stuff like that. And Georgia, the number one ranked team right now, they're being carried by their defense. And in modern football, can defense still win championships? That's the question. Um, you know, and you have your Oklahomas of the world who could lose a game any week of the year. So it's kind of wide open right now. And you look at Ohio State's schedule. I talked about Penn State. Then after that, Nebraska, Purdue, and then Michigan State and Michigan. Those will be your real deciding factors as far as what this team is capable of because Michigan State is playing very well right now. And Michigan, uh, given right now in the AP, this would be a 5-6 and six matchup. Obviously, things will change as the season goes on as far as rankings, but that's going to be a good one. Um, and I think this Ohio State team can go toe-to-toe with anybody. I think they have proven that in the last... Three games especially, Indiana 54-7, 66-17 against Maryland, and 52-13 against Rutgers. Those were not fluke scores. Those were absolute domination. Um, you know, when you have such a talent gap like Ohio State has with some of these teams, you know, you look at your Akron score where you have a backup quarterback in and it's 59-7. to Ohio State is legit now. Um, and I think they can do big things. So w- with all this being said, let me know your thoughts. Do you think Ohio State has a legit shot of winning the national championship this year? It's going to be an interesting rest of the season. Like I said, I think things are pretty wide open. So let me know your thoughts, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.